All right, hello everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the final of the Murray, Kentucky Dragons Horde Gaming Hyperspace Trial. Um, my co-commentator uh, has stepped away for a little bit. He might be back here a little. Uh, they went to go get food, uh, including for me. So I'm super excited about that. Super hungry. Um, Jordan has the, has the bid over Matthew and has elected to make Matthew the first player. Uh, matters a lot as both these players have ships at uh, 5 and 6. Oh, I need to go ahead and reset Matthew's list. There it is. It's done. Should be good to go. Uh, if you haven't participated in our stream polls before, it's super easy. Um, you have a couple options there on the left. For this stream poll, you have Matthew or Jordan. Go ahead and choose your champion. Who do you think is going to win this game? One for Matthew, two for Jordan. And uh, our results will show up live there. Literally, all you got to do is type a number. I really like to get as much participation in the chat as possible. Uh, currently, it only works for the Twitch chat, but there's 160-plus uh, people right now in the Twitch chat. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I'd, like to see, I'd like to see at least 80 people participate in this poll. Half of Twitch. Come on, Twitch. Now, some of you are scared to be in the chat. Don't be scared. Join us. Join us. And as we're waiting here, I do want to give a big shout out to the tournament organizer and my uh, housing host while I'm here. Bob Mitchell has been do doing a great job keeping things running on time and uh, being super hospitable. Thank you so much to Bob Mitchell. Thank you to uh, John, the owner of Dragon's Horde, for hooking us up with the internet and the space and food it was just um he was able to get everybody pizza and, and and drinks and stuff for lunch which was super awesome so thank you to him and uh thank you to the x-wing community out here in murray kentucky for being so uh so loving and uh thank you shout out to gustavo archila for giving me the suggestion to come down to his local x-wing community and uh and stream this match Gold Squadron Podcast is going to be visiting a few different hyperspace trials to uh, try to, you know, get some get some recognition for groups that uh, that haven't been on, on on display for a while. So that's the plan here. First one here, Murray, Kentucky. We're going to be out in Iowa next weekend. We'll be at Adepticon for a premiere event after that. I mean, we got Gold Squadron Podcast literally almost every weekend. We got live X-Wing coming for you. So if you haven't clicked that Twitch Prime button, it's a reminder to do that. You can do that every 30 days if you have Amazon Prime. Also, if you want to be part of the largest group of supporters for Gold Squadron Podcast, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Get awesome swag while supporting our efforts of literally traveling the United States and bringing you guys live X-Wing. And soon the world, we're going to be going to Poland and Australia. For uh, Poland, it's going to be for the... Uh, for Euros, the European Championships, the Hyperspace Cup out there. And we'll also be at the Australian System Open. Uh, for the Iowa trial, it's going to be very similar to this week. I'll be uh, playing for the first few rounds. We'll, get, we'll commission a couple people to do the stats during Swiss. And uh, during the cut, we'll have, we have quite a few people from Gold Squadron being there. So we'll definitely have somebody available for the cut. So very similar to this week. We can take turns and you can go eat. Ah, so we're going to go ahead and swap here. Uh, Gordon Berg is swapping in. The food has arrived. And uh, t t take it away. Yeah, I haven't All even right. eaten yet. You go eat. All right, we're going start to the, start the clock. Three, two, one. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Gordon Berg from the Stay on Target podcast. Also, a.k.a. Dion's Lackey, he sent me out to get him McDonald's. Let me tell you about Dion's eating habits. The boy wanted, what was it, a McGriddle? Yeah. With bacon and... Bacon and cheese All right, man. whatever. Okay. 
Now this is a traditional setup by Jordan. We've seen him do this before on the stream. He pretty much is just going to bring Tally forward out too eventually and just kind of react to what's going on. You've got Matt there doing Rebel 1 forward to victory. You've got trick shots on the A's and I, for the life of me, cannot make those work, but having faced Jordan fly these things, he got as much mileage out of those trick shots as possible. So I'm starting to become a believer. I just got to get good, I think that's the phrase, right? Yeah. Fly better. Fly better. Uh, so, yeah, Jordan is very much going to want to have that initial engagement dance around in the rocks. Now, what would not surprise me is he doesn't necessarily run. He will, you know, turn these ships in. Unfortunately, we're all talking about a rebel list. It's not like it's going to blaze four or five across the board here. So, I've seen a lot of times Jordan bring this list in when you wouldn't think he would. But he's, he's willing to do it. This is going to be a little bit of a different engagement. But don't be surprised to see, like, say, hard ones here out of Jordan's list. Um, for those who didn't know, we're, did, did you already cover about math, Matthew's prowess and what he had done? And the Okay. So, if the name is familiar to you, Matthew did win the Gold Squadron Classic. He's part of their Outrider team. He's a, uh, for the, uh, the St. Louis X-Wing community. Very, very good player. Jordan is out of Atlanta. Uh, he has not flown the Resistance until today. This is his friend's stuff. I think he believes, I think he's typically an Imperial player. Um, <laughs> FYI, resistance is good. Um, I faced five resistance lists in a row. Uh, all of them were a mix of uh, the T-70s and A-Wings. Okay. Wow. All right. So, you know when I said, don't be surprised that he's going to do a hard one here? <laughs> what do I know? Look at that. Five forward. He's getting out of dodge. All right. And basically, it's just resetting the board here. He's like, if you're going to slow row, then forget it. I'm not going to play that game. Oh, and yet he came out fast anyway. Ah, that's right. <laughs> the K turn. Of course. We saw this before. In the prior game, uh, Matthew has the final salvo advantage. He doesn't have to engage. Okay, Dion is helping me out by uh, reminding me that Matthew has the final salvo advantage on dice here. Does not need to be the one to initiate any kind of engagement. So. Matt is going to leverage as much as possible the ability to fight here for as long as he can. All right, there goes the other wing. All right, so I don't think it'll be surprising to see probably Poe dial up, what, a three bank? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I ordered $27 worth of food at the McDonald's drive-thru because I had to pay for everybody, right? Because I'm making them stay, right? right. Yeah, exactly. I went, I, as I went to the drive-thru, I said, I want one of everything in the store. <laughs> and, it only cost and it only cost me $27. Value, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll give me cancer, but it was only $27. All right. So... Poe's thinking probably, is he done? What is he doing? I guess he's trying to map out where he's going to go. Why wouldn't you boost? I mean, you, you sent the other ships that way. Uh, but you've got, yeah. He's going to wait a bit. 
All right. And now we are back to dials. Okay, did you do uh, your poll for who's going to win this? We did in the lower corner. All right, we are showing Matthew with the advantage. That is interesting. Uh, Jordan's no joke. He beat the pants off me. So, uh, my friend Charlie, his phone, I guess every text message is Obi-Wan Kenobi saying hello there. Do you have any idea how much that stupid thing went off in our hotel room last night? I was about to throw it through the window. Patrons should be excited about about this phrase. Something. Okay. We, in, more hello there is incoming. Is someone asking about Jordan's frosted templates? I'm assuming he's using the templates they just... Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Uh, that looks like uh, templates out of the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, their X-Wing community and stuff like this. Wouldn't surprise me if... Made by yeah, I was about to say made by... In other words, despite all of Andrew's uh, fussing about not wanting to do frosted... Oh, just awesome. Yeah, but he does it anyway, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. And all right, I think Dion is done eating. All right, my turn. There you go. Go Ta for it. Tag, you're it. I'm going to eat. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'll be back in a sec. Did you kill this thing? Mute this thing? Yep. There we go. All right, one of the things I want to talk about this opening for... Oh, the double K turns. Yes. Oh, savage, Matthew. Savage. I love it. Leia lets you have all this flexibility, and it is absolutely hilarious. I mean, it's essentially... Uh, I don't want to call it a castle, but it's essentially a castle. It's, it's telling Jordan that you have to, um, you have to engage on Matthew's terms. The big advantage that Matthew has is the fact that he's going to keep his ships in formation. Jordan wants to play fast and loose. He wants to keep these A wings with space and same thing with Poe. Um, that's the natural play style and these these A wings don't want to joust with Poe in a formation. Like that's not what their game is. Um, but Matthew wants to play that game. I know both of these players are super patient. Super patient. I'm not saying that we're gonna go the whole one twenty. But I wouldn't be surprised. They are willing to use every minute they have. So um for those of you who stick with us, thank you so much. You are all amazing. And if you don't, because for whatever reason, you gotta you gotta let it go. It wouldn't feel bad. Alrighty. Oh, that opening. So good. This might come down to who is more patient in the end. After this round, we do have a few more giveaways. We have some more of the cards that Tommy Adams donated to the stream, as well as I just got a message from District Foundry, and he's going to be giving away a set of card dividers today. He said, hey, Dion, do this. And I said, okay, I got you, fam. So that's happening. Chewbacca40, you'll be there for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. We're on this journey together. Putting out those shields. Thank you, Jordan. People in the chat saying, oh, man, I need those dividers. Well, there's a little birdies telling me that uh, District Foundry might have a deal for you guys come Adepticon. But, you know, you didn't ask me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah i love the dividers i bought a set <clears throat> um i bought a set before district foundry ever even uh started subbing uh, excuse me started uh words are hard being a sponsor and uh they're they're fantastic i used to have my cards in binders and 
my problem was I would always get them like I'd never put them back in the binders because of the time it it take. But now with the dividers, just you know, find at least find a section and toss it in. It's uh it keeps things much neater for me. I love it. So thank you to Ken Chow of District Foundry for donating the prize. Super super pumped to give that away at the end of the match. So while we uh, we wait here for the next round of dials, let's talk about some of the upcoming uh, content we have. So we'll be in Iowa for the hyperspace trial next weekend. Weekend after that, oh, my wife's calling. Give me a second, everybody. Okay, covering for Dion again. This is Gordon. So, you're witnessing what it's like in flying these lists in a two hour final versus you know, a typical 75 minute round. You're afforded the luxury of time to really dance around a bit. Typically, when you're going up against Rebel Beef List, and this is 
borderline rebel beef. It's not quite full blown rebel beef, but you know, you you don't have the time necessarily to get damage in. There's not as much time as you would normally have afforded to you. You've got to be a little more aggressive. Two hour final. You can be a little more patient. Feel your opponent out a little more. Drives you nuts. This is the last thing you want to be doing at God, it's, it's 11.20 local time here at night. Dion certainly doesn't want to do it. It does make for tough to watch at times as they feel each other out. So anything you learn from this match doesn't typically apply to a regular match, at least as far as typical approaches. I see Marcel has joined us. Hello, Marcel. Well, hey, Ken of District Foundry. Uh, I agree that they should have made it a two-day event, but what the, uh, the organizer did was he took a poll, and he asked what the majority of people wanted, and uh, the poll voted for day one, and I think what happened is, is those people that had less travel time and were not getting hotel rooms like a lot of us did that came from further out mm -hmm. uh, voted for the day one option very uh very uh just so you guys know we are very quiet because um the store is practically empty and we're like we're not right next to the table but we're we're not that far away <laughs> we're within earshot um i'm back by the way and then I, i'm me so yeah you know, I'm, I'm the volume of three people just by myself. They keep asking how Bobby did. If they're asking about how Bobby, the guy who organized the event, he organized the event, he didn't play. Uh, Different Bobby, no, I don't know. I don't yeah, they're know. asking that was Bobby who played on stream earlier today. No, oh, oh, he. Uh, you mean uh, the Falcon? No, no, not that Bob. There was another, another Bob. Not even, there's too many Bobs here. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a couple people asking questions. Um... Um, what are you looking for? There was a question. Somebody said, "Hey, Dion." Oh, I was on mute for a little bit. Sorry, guys. There's, you know, I I go all over the country. There's a, there's a couple of rules, right? So, for what in order for me to do these streams, okay, you have to be allowed to, right? <laughs> yeah, correct. I have to be allowed to by Mrs. by Mrs. Correct. Squadron podcast. Correct. Uh, and. Uh, one of the rules is if I call you during an event, there's a reason I'm calling. So pick up. Because <laughs> she, yeah, she yeah. knows. <laughs> she, so she, she knows. Like, she knows how to, yeah. like, she on her phone. Yeah, so. I walked up and saw he's on the phone, and then he's like, you got this. <laughs> yep. I got it. Gotta, <laughs> gotta go. All right, here are some of the questions I saw. Um, uh, so, f first, uh, John Ben Young asking, why can't you just reschedule your wife's birthday? Uh, one of the rules is uh, birthday weeks, which are both in April for my wife and my daughter. They're blackout weeks. And I, I put that rule in. I was like, no, sure. there's no, I'm not going to your birthday. Right. I'm not going anywhere for these days. I um, think the X-Wing community should adjust around your calendar. Correct. That, that is correct. So, John, um, you should have known my wife's birthday. And told your TO to change it once. If he wants those out. templates, he better learn in a hurry. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Jobu12 asked, uh, in your opinion, do you think 2.0 is in a good spot? Seems like so many resistance slash rebel lists are in the are in these top eights. So you know things are going to rotate in and out. We we have a new faction, two new factions right. on the horizon. Right. And here's the thing, right? So before the points adjustment, Imperials were all over the place, right? Yeah. You had the the the, the list of legend. Yeah. All right. Like that. That was uh. That was really good. And rebels were not that common because it was too expensive. They mm -hmm. needed the adjustment. Here's the thing. There's going to be a lot of copycatting based on initial. Like you'll see the first couple of events. Yep. And then you'll see people going, oh, I'll give that a try. Yep. There must be something to it at one. I mean, exactly. Let's go ahead and set aside player skill. But there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, because they're changing twice a year and because they're that barrel roll different the waiver lists. And furthermore, they've demonstrated a willingness to not wait for announced points changes mm -hmm. to go ahead and fix something. Yep. Triple Upsilon, anyone? Gone. Gone. So even if 
It's nothing but resistance as far as the eye can see. Let it have its day in the sun. So what? It's going <laughs> it, to change. Be gone. Yeah, it's going to change. <laughs> it's going to be gone. I, I sure. mentioned this once in the, the, uh, on my podcast. I said, that's like bitching about a chess game where you're complaining about the mirror match. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's still an interesting game. Oh yeah, there's there's still plenty to play. Now I would I will tell you, uh, we're definitely gonna have our engagement here soon. And looking at the uh, looking at the positioning, oh, okay, Jordan's trying to bait him into the rocks. Yes, he is. That's rabbiting. Oh no, he's not. And gonna, and for the, and, and and all he's gonna do in this next turn is like hard to rotate focus and then yep. trick uh, shot. You know, assuming well, he f took the takes the bait. He's not gonna take the bait. What we're, right. we're, we're gonna see here, we're gonna see the U wing's gonna stop. And everything else is going to one bank and still basically have not committed to anything. Correct. We got 98 minutes. Use them. And here's the thing. Uh, Leia, where, th where are those Leia charges? Those should be back up by now for sure. Let's move the pole out of the way. Yep. Yep, it's back up. So the turn where Jordan would have the backside. Just like, well, guys, guess what we're doing? Turn the ship around. <laughs> Dion, can I compliment you just how nice that final looks up there in the upper right? Yeah. And, you, you and can, how it's opposite the first player token. You can, that uh, just looks so symmetrical and professional. Thank you. Um, it, my eye is drawn towards it. And then, you, oh, you, while I'm looking there, look at the time. <laughs> looks terrible. <Yeah>. <laughs> you <laughs> hate it. I like, I like the positioning. We can, we'll, we'll make that work. We'll keep that as a thing. But I need to redesign that because it's bothering me. Like, I moved it to Baraka. He com He... He con he convinced me to do it. Okay. He's like, he hashtag subs for, for moving the thing. And I'm like, fine, fine. <laughs> you, 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 Chewbacca tells you to do something, that, you do it. That's right. That's okay. right. See, but here's the thing. I will tell you, if Isofan tells me to put it back, I'm putting it back. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> put those two against each other. Let's get those guys in there. All right. What do we got? What do we Let's missed? go back to the battle. Alrighty, so hmm. A wings are super spread out. <laughs> Nathan Squadron Dion gives into bribery. Of course you do. It's not, it's not bribery. It's support. It's enabling you. It's enabling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the U wing is currently unstressed. I mean, Jordan's trying to bait him, but he, he's not gonna fall for that. No, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Weaver act. <laughs> Can you call for justice for Bobby? That was that must have been a rough game. We were we were all playing during it, but when it came back, I was like, "Oh my gosh, Bobby, Bobby!" One thing I do want to talk about is uh, at the bottom of the screen we have um, our sub goal that we're currently working on, and we have until April first to get a hundred for uh, one of our, our Half, halfway there. We're halfway. We are halfway there. We're at fifty-two already. Um, but yeah, for uh, hashtag trays for John, it's a district foundry challenge. I said, Hey, if, uh, if John Ben Young can muster up enough people to get a hundred subs before the end of Adepticon, he's he gets a, two, he gets a free, weeks. he's got two weeks. He's, uh, he's going to get a free tray set from, uh, maybe if he's nicer to me, I'll throw something his way. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if the boy's capable. Of it. I don't know. We'll see. Isn't it past his bedtime? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's on the west coast, though. Westish. Oh, right. Lame. So he's at least one to two lame. over. All right. So uh, getting some space there from the U wing and uh, there you go. Just two agility drops the focus. He's trying to bait now. Like, hey, you want to turn that A wing over here? Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Matthew's like, please turn in. No, that do is it. Not happening. <laughs> Jordan said he's going to use every minute of the time. Oh, he should, and he should. Yeah. And he should. <laughs> it's as if we don't release enough episodes. <laughs> what's what's wrong with once a month, if that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is... So what's hap what's going to happen over time is, you know, th the board is shrinking, right? Like Jordan is slowly pressing in, while Matthew's sticking M to that board edge. Matthew is okay with that, though, right? Yep. Yo, he wants that open space. He wants it all. And he has to make certain that fight takes place. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's his that's his zone. That's where he wants to stay. All right, reaching for the target lock. He's got it. That A wing's not going to be there for very long, but <laughs> hard two away. Told you, hard two. You, you know what though? That target lock can come back and uh, and bite Jordan. Rotate to the back, just in case. Take a focus. That's going to be a stress, but he's got plenty of moves to get rid of that. I was giving him crap about, you know, we can't see those teeny tokens. <laughs> he's like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> got very excited to change him out. I said, oh, I thought you were trolling us. Yeah, all the these the cagey moves are are correct. Yeah, both these both these players need to need to be cagey. That's the game that they're playing. Matthew's gonna stay in a pseudo formation to make sure that when he does catch something, he's got three to four arcs mm -hmm. on one ship mm -hmm. because Jordan wants to be spread out because the A wings n need space to operate. Yeah. Um, a predictable A-wing is a sad A-wing. Oh, yeah. Now John is super trolling me in the chat, so I'm just going to oh, ignore yeah. him. Yeah, you, you ignore him. That's fine. And this, this is, you want to reward this behavior and give him templates. I mean, he's he's like, he's top chatter right now. Yeah, okay. So, you earned can't. it. Yeah. <laughs> he's keeping the hype going. How was your McRiddle? Oh, it's great. Okay. I'm energized. I feel really good right now. Really? Okay, yeah. good. All right. Let's see if that translates into some professional <laughs> commentation. Commentation? Did I just make up a word? You did. I did. I like it. We'll call up Webster. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I know for some people, looking at a game like this, the Harry Demon, thank you so much. For some people, looking at a game like this where people are playing cages, some people will call this game boring. The thing is, you got to understand, right, we're at a competitive event. These players here are not just here to joust and throw dice at each other. They want to win. Mensa Nurse, Mensa Nurse, thank you so much for the donation. Good lord, dude. Thank you so much. Mensa Nurse, you the man. Unless you're a woman. <laughs> wow. hundred bucks. Um... I forgot what I was saying. Uh, they, they're, they are here. Yeah, they're they're here to they're here to win the game. Right. And right now, what you what you're seeing is two players being extremely patient and trying to make their opponent engage on their terms. And I want you, all of you, think back to games where you have decided to play on your opponent's terms. Nine times out of ten, you're losing that game. Here's another thing too. This is a general truism, something we say in our show all the time. The first player to commit. Mm -hmm. Tends to be the one more often than not that loses. Oh yeah, and neither player here, if you'll notice, has committed. We got the one eighty from the U wing. Yeah, yeah well, correct. Yeah, neither one, neither one wants to commit. Well, I mean, you can't because then you don't want to then find yourself out of position where you gave an advantage to your opponent. Mm -hmm. There's just no way Matt's coming off of that side of the board. It forces maybe Jordan into just fine, we're going to mix it up, or to do these kind of hit and run, boom and zoom tactics, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is a lay a turn, by the way, which is how the Ewing was able to show the stop and turn did it around. He, did he flip the charges, or he just hasn't done it yet, or what did I miss? Uh, oh, no, he must have not flipped Leia. He must have just done the stop. He just did the stop. He wasn't stressed last turn. My bad. Right. Lies. Lies of the Jedi. I love the, the, the stream delay chat, the chat delay. Now, I find it interesting. Oh, that he's he's aggressing. Yeah. He's really yeah. committed here. I don't know how I feel about that, said the guy that's not in the final. Well, you know what, though? Luke, Luke is the lines. most defensive ship that Matthew has. Yeah. He doesn't feel too bad trying to maybe, you know, plink some damage in.
Jordan's watch is doing the same thing mine is like, you know what, I'm not bothering changing the time zones. <laughs> I'll just subtract an hour from it. It's not really 1230. Well, I guess it is technically on our internal clock. Yep. So oh, your, your internal clock. Yeah. I'm, I'm a central light. Yeah, so you're fine. Mm-hmm. But now that I know that you have dinner at 11.30 at night and get all energized and stuff. Oh, I mean, this is how, this is the only way Gold Carter podcast can, can function. I don't go to bed till like 2 a.m. every day. It's great. Is that how you squeeze in 40 hour, Curve. two 40 hour a week job? Correct. <laughs> People ask me, well, how do you do it, Dion? Well, you just don't sleep. Yeah, sleep when you're dead. <laughs> oh, right, and he's really to. turning this too. That fits. It's good. Yeah, but. It's but tight. If it didn't, there's no consequence. He's but really is, putting but where, but where is he going from here, though? He's forced. He's, tra- he's trying I mean, to... Okay, so he does have this option, right? Yep. But why would he? No, he wouldn't. Those are the two wings. He's going to go up the right. gut. He's going to take it up the gut. Okay. So now... This space right here. This is... Okay. This is this. <laughs> Poe, I want you. I know, but Poe is a BBA Poe, and Poe's like, nah. I mean, Poe will do this. Oh, yeah, if he needs Oops, to. Sorry. I didn't get rid of that. I got get you. rid of that. That's right. Do you feel like he can bank and stay here? Kind of 50-50? Yeah. And not lose position anyway. All right. Looks like we have a range three shot. And Spence focus. No. No damage. Try to plink some damage there. Very exciting. The first dice. dice. First dice. So those who don't know, you'll notice they are not using the dice they've won. Care yeah. to tell us why, Dion? Yeah, let's uh let's see if the second shot is in range. Mm, close. Um, is it touching? You gotta go single edge to single edge. If you were a judge, what would you up oh, oh they got a judge. So uh, there's Bob. Hey Bob. What if it kisses like that? Uh-uh. Huh? No. No. All right. No. So we uh, one of our quick tips is how to use a range ruler. Because actually a lot of people do it wrong. On those on those very edges, if you can extend the length of the range, range ruler if you go to corner to corner. Mm. But it's it's specifically stated in the rule book you're only supposed to use a single edge. So if you like, you're close right. to two ships and right. you like twist and you're like, oh, look, I'm in contact. Right. It's out of it's actually out of range. It's oh my god, that happens all the time. Yeah, I did not know this. There it is. Oh. Gordon just admitted to not watching Quick Tips, guys. Not that th- not that <laughs> one. It's an awesome thumbnail. They got Palpatine holding two range rulers. Come on, <laughs> fine. It's, the, it's it's such a good clickbait. You didn't click it. <laughs> What I'm going to start doing is talking some major trash about you on my show okay. and then find out just how much you pay attention to it. <laughs> can I, I trigger you? I watch quite a bit. Can I, I listen can I, quite a yeah, bit. Can I get you to respond to that? Well, I'll I, know when I will I, tell you for the last three weeks, for the last, excuse me, two weeks, I have been listening to audiobooks because I got a couple, course, couple new ones. But. Of course. The, the, the dirty little secret is, is most of us don't listen to each other anymore. We just don't have time. Yeah, I would say that. Well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about yeah. it later. No, no, no. People want to know. People want to know. Yeah, there, there are too many. Mm, well, everybody has their tiers. Like, if if I have time, I'll listen to X and Y and Correct. Z. Correct. Right. You've, you've. Yeah. Okay. I will tell you what kind of podcast listener there is. Yeah. There are two kinds. There are those that listen to them all because that is what they do. They've right. Got that kind of time. They mm-hmm. take it all in. Yep. All right. Then there's those that have their favorites based on either time. Mm -hmm. And so really, they're only going to listen to a couple of that. Or they're just friends and they're local too. And so they just, you know, just in case they get mentioned or they know these guys. And that's it. All right. So the U-Wing is going to be going through the Y-Wing. Two bank is blue. You and Minox excluded, of course. (laughs) Everybody listens to you too. But for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon's saying all this, okay, guys? This is not me. I, Gordon's opinions do not reflect. Gordon, Gordon, it's affiliates. 
<laughs> you need a lawyer now. You got to hire one and have a disclaimer. Yep. Okay, so. <sighs> His options. Why is he? She's not stressed anymore. Shouldn't be stressed. Unless he did, did co he coordinated, so he's stressed. There it is. Okay. See, I, I, th see I, no, I think it's because he wants the option. He wants that lane up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you see that A-wing, five straighting into that corner. I'm like, whoops. Now, he could do something about that. If he just stops right there, he still has the option to... Turn away, yeah. Yeah. And notice he's not stressed. He's given him the hard one return shot. Heck, he even might be able to leverage a trick shot out of it. Mm hmm. Dropping that evade. Or is that the is that the one? Is that his PS? If that's his yeah, uh, initiative his if that's his initiative one, then he's not getting a trick shot out of that. I've also noticed Jordan does a lot more liberal use of the evade token than what I'm used to seeing on um A Wings. Alright, so no he, bank here. He's going straight. Gus, thank you for the cheers. He doesn't have advanced optics, so he's more inclined to use so that's gonna be in range. Switch the target lock, lock over there. Yeah. That's Luke. So Luke is going to have a fully modified shot, essentially. And uh, Wedge hasn't moved yet. I wonder how aggressive he's going to get over there. Probably boost rotate. Go ahead and open up this so we can make sure we can listen. Now we're only picking up that audio, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And... He winked at the bottom, still still being cagey. So Jordan doing a bit of a phalanx here, right? You got coming in from both sides. This is kind of the plan, maybe. I'm curious to see if he's going to... I mean, I mean, what, what that's yeah. what the one wants to do. The one wants to be in your way. And one bank, that's going to be in range. You just you have a target lock ready. You drop the focus. That A-wing's probably going to take some damage this turn. And if you'll notice... Oh, man, this one bank... It's his Matthew defeat. still hasn't necessarily committed to a path. He doesn't have to go through that corridor in front of him. He uh -oh. can still make turns to the right. He's checking range to Poe. It's just whether he has shots. He's taking a shot. I mean, so this po is going to be... Poe in his next turn can just do a one forward and then do all kinds of reactions. Two hits. And has to spend the focus. There it is. I was getting, what I was getting at earlier, I was trying to bait Dion into saying the new dice do just do not show up well on the Chroma dice uh, wings box. Are, wings are closed right now. Hit crit. Okay, and? And spends a focus. Oh, you know how to see that was on the side? I thought it was like, oh, Natty's. Nope. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the black dice look terrible in the in the dice box. Absolutely terrible. So... Range two okay. through a rock. This is uh, this is Luke. All right, so four dice for Jordan. Target lock and force will get him three. Hit hit crit, and spends the evade safe. So, still no damage traded. I think that's going to change next turn, though. You know those A's are going to be really moving in hard oh, five. without consequences, but they're probably... That one may be tough to get a shot. All right? I think that's what... I can't see. Is that tally? That looks like tally. Closest to the board edge for us. Yes. So Lulo's probably dialing up a hard three and then like focus boosting or lock boosting. Assuming there's a target close enough to measure to. Uh, people saying the black dice are going to be super common. Oh, you're not wrong. Uh, but I'm going to start carrying stream dice, shared dice pool. Yeah. That's it's just part idea. of the agreement. Uh, honestly, idea. the the black dice, it, there's, trust me, guys, I, I, I tested it and it is bad. You guys would not be able to follow any. I wouldn't be able to follow anything. The, the entire dice shape disappears because of the shade of gray. It's really like a grayish blue. 
and it's it, well, it's smoky, right? It's yeah, see through. Yeah. No um, I was noticing when I because I because I won mine last week and mm-hmm. I've been playing with them and I'll roll and then find myself having to lean over the table. Yeah. Go, what did I just roll? Because the, the I can't, attack I'm dice standing right there. The attack dice are yeah. really rough to read. Yeah. Do you think uh, Tally can dial up a three bank? How, that's close. Mm, that's me. close. But I think that corner right there. Yeah, I think it can. I think it can. So here's the thing. Poe with BB-8 mm-hmm. can get away with what here? So it's only you have to reveal a blue maneuver. Ewing first. One bank covering the corner. Mm-hmm. Though, again, Jordy, Jordan does not have to commit that A-wing into that quarter. He has plenty of space to go to the right if he wants to. Mm-hmm. Does he do the hard one? No. Oh, he's coming in. He really is. I think the idea here is like, he might he might boot. get like a single single shot here from the U-wing. He does have a crack shot. No, he's not. It's the bait in the boost. And it's like, chances are it will line up the crack shot. It's just does he yeah. want to risk it. Does he like staying at range three? He's debating. Because what if the X-Wings did twos? Like hard twos. <laughs> yes. This meant this is this is the part of the game where right because they're they're uh, almost halfway through their time right like mm-hmm. one of these players are gonna crack here soon and start getting a little impatient. If I had to make a guess, two bank there from Dutch gonna reach for the target lock to get the synergy going. I'm Passes Math- it to the U wing. I'm gonna guess Matthew seems to be more tired than Jordan, um, but. Matthew is an amazing player and is probably not going to. All right, fifty-fifty position here. I really like it. I do like that. So, but what I, I mean by that, for anybody who's not familiar, it's like if if Poe goes in that corridor, he's going to get shot. If not, he has a shot on the A wing, no problem. Oh, he didn't risk it. He just went two and then figured he'd fo- focus boost. And Luke is actually also in a good spot to get coordinated next turn by the U wing. And that's an example of of Jordan's patience there. Willing to settle for a range if it's a range three shot if it's there at all. Mm-hmm. All right, there's R3. the hard three. And that's going to be range be, three. It's either a lock or focus on boost. the on the Y wing. Focus in the boost is going to be range two most likely. This is the tough spot. Okay, so he's okay, covering he's, both. Yeah, he's splitting the difference. I like it. All right, so we're casting a wide net for Poe. There's a safe place on the rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, Poe's going to get shot here. Oh, unless he he black won some shenanigans. Well, it depends how possible. fast he dialed it, right? Did he see it coming? Yep. And did he just, like, go to the left and say, I'm out? So BB-8. So basically turns you into Supernatural. Uh, I think this is a straight maneuver. Well, he's out, uh, yeah. Why, would, why else would you look up? look like that unless you felt like you can just shoot the gamut there and Matthew's holding the rock there. yep like <laughs> you may fire I, when ready I think I think he's encouraging him he's like come on in yep said the spider to the fly he's debating using uh Poe's ability to boost here so Looks like Jordan did a three straight. Oh, Jordan's thinking he made a mistake here. You see there's some hesitation in his body language. Reaching for the boost using Poe's ability. What 
Well, he can do Poe things mm-hmm. off the actions, right? Yeah, off and of the barrel th- action from BB-8. Then get an additional action, yeah. 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 And then do his maneuver. His perform action stip. Right. So say he boosts or something like this and then does a reveal off the dial, but because I still can't see it right So now Boosting he's doing to that. to the right. And then is his maneuver oh, like, say, is, three is forward. The, is it the three forward? But then does he black one out? And go, say, three bank. Okay, and he has the... He can't barrel roll. He did the same thing to me, but yeah. he set up a talent roll afterwards. He just focuses. Poe's in a bad spot. He's gonna... And he's not black winning. At least he's not t- getting shot by wedge. But that could be range one out of Luke. It's hard to see. It is range, range one. one. Yeah, okay. he's going to take that all day. Yeah, all the target locks are on the A-wing right now. But that's Luke's probably also, maybe he's thinking, fine, are you going to take the bait because your mods are against the A-wing? Oh, that's good. That's very good. Spends focus, two shields on Poe. And so, no, I am not taking the bait. I am going to shoot you, Poe. <laughs> Lulo's coming up here. He's going to have three dice because of the ability. Going into Dutch. I mean, it's, the hard, it's the easiest thing to take off the board here. Back focus, hit, hit, crit. Alrighty. Two shields on Zawai. Mm-hmm. Tally, trick shot. Three dice. Hit, hit, crit. That's going to be a crit into the, uh, the Y-Wing no matter what. Uh, unless, no, he doesn't have a focus. That's one damage down on the Y. That just should be, should be a crit, yeah. Loose stabilizer. Do you have fancy smancy uh, crit stuff you can flash? Thank you. <laughs> it's my favorite thing you do on your cast. I love that thing. All right, safe. That's a Y wing. And here is the partisan going at Poe. Range three Poe. It's like, hey, I brought three dice too. Spends a focus boom, for boom, three. Boom. That's gonna get something through. Ooh, that is huge That's shield. Half. half and then some. Poe has two health left. Is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> One crit into the U Wing. She's not dead. She's just sleeping in space. And we'll take a shield on the U Wing. Matthew's fine with this. Alright, that round went to Matthew. Oh, big time. Big time. And more importantly, he's still in his side of the board where he wants to fight. <laughs> he is exactly where he, he, he wants to be. He has set up lanes that can take advantage of Leia. So, if the U-Wing stops, does it rotate or just stay straight? So, pe- people in the chat, I do need to mention this. Isofan, the, the hero of Gold Squadron Podcast, hmm. is literally asking people, Hey, who wants a sub? I already got one. So yeah, I'm that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm good. like, hey, if you don't have one, hit up Isofan. Be like, hey, Isofan, please. He's literally, he's volunteering. He's like, who wants gumboats? Who wants to be able to spam gumboats in the chat? Now, this is true. The only thing I have are gunboats. I don't have next level emoticons. Mm hmm. You know, so, sure. All right, this is going to be a tough turn. You need a mute on just my mic. <laughs> like, I want to be able to, like, slurp in the straw here and not... Ready, ready set, go. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. I wanted to get the... Ah. 
Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, I'm done. Why, why are you not yep. pressing the button? All right. Okay, more subscription. Thank Sabine. you so much. It's it's Isofan, hero, hero, hero of the of the Gold Squadron. It should be like a new faction, <laughs> Gold Squadron. It's like a sub faction of rebels. All right, here we go. Leia, so stop, focus. Leia popped, yeah, he just stayed there. I mean. What? Jordan, Jordan's got to do some fancy fancy. He's just trying to take up space with that 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 A wing. He's like, okay. shoot me! Look at all my target locks. Just shoot locks. me! Don't don't have that wasted. Don't waste this. Yeah. He's got tokens so high he could riffle them like a poker player. <laughs> nice and casual here. One forward for focus. Yeah. Not gonna notice he's not doing the uh, target lock shenanigans on to Poe because Poe has a, a a lane out here. Well, he Poe still has black one, correct? Yeah. Oh yeah. So how do you not assume Poe is just gone? Four K. Now the loose stabilizer is on the. It's on Dutch. It's on Dutch, yeah. All right, so because it's Leia, that's a white turn, so we're still mm -hmm. free. Still got actions, baby. There's mm -hmm. the roll. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to cover space. Luke has the force. He's got his mods. Excuse me. Now, these A-wings are coming from behind. They are going to start taking effect here. Jordan just needs a couple turns of hot dice to... Uh, and that is just a general make strategy it really of Jordan. He knows to some extent that Poe is very much a rabbit, mm -hmm. the bait, and takes his time to bring in those A-wings. We'll just see if it works for him. Focus boost now. here. That's going to be a range one to Dutch if he wants it. Mm. Dutch isn't much longer for this world. This will be another focus boost in as well. Mm-hmm. Good chance Dutch is gone this turn. He might go in on the Ewing. Isofan, thank you so much for your generosity, my man. All right. If you were in Jordan's position and yep. you've got these two range one shots, and either should, let's assume that's range one, yeah. Tyler, but maybe it's not, but let's assume it is. Um, who would you pick? Either the U wing or the Y wing, right? Ah, uh, U wing got Leia on there. Yeah. Dutch has no turret. Three bank. That's that screams black one. Screams get me out. He's gonna debate it. You see him leaning over the table, seeing his options there. There aren't very many good ones. The three hard to the left. Get some uh, range one shot if he if he chooses to take the ion, but then he's ionized and he's not in a good spot to be ionized. Yeah, but Leia has been burned. However, you do have two X wings that will then just say thank they're, you. Yeah, they're pointed the right direction, right? Yeah. Now. He's taking the weapons. Disabled. Smart man. Luke might still have a range three shot. Hmm. That is close. Jordan debating. And boost for a second Poe action. That's going to get him out of range. Okay, well, so there goes that. Matthew would just light up that the A wing sitting in the center of all four ships. All right, he's going into Lulo. Lulo is currently stressed, so one less dice, only three, because it is range three, but it's wedged, so it's it's down to two. Right. All right, 
right? Hit Whoa. Two evades, baby. Wow. Shades of the earlier game. Jordan's dice. What did we get up to? Hundred dollars to mug Jordan and <laughs> ship his dice to somebody. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Luke's got a lock there. Range one into that A-wing. Spinning both force. Just going for the sure thing there. Two and a damage. It's going to be half points there on the blue. U-wing might be able to finish it off. Does have target lock focus there. Lulo in two Dutch. And only two. So he did choose the... Evade. He did choose the uh, Y-wing and not... The U, like you thought. Another thing, too, is the U wing is only down a health and is rolling two dice. Mm hmm. So I think right, he's, so he's trying to get something off the yeah, board. He's opting to go after the board. Or get something, like you said, off the board. Yeah. No, he shifted. He shifted. He shifted to the U. I think that's the right choice. You need to get that off the he board. Split his fire. Interesting. One shield. And I think he crack shot. Can he crack shot there? Yep. Crack shot's yep. live. There it is. All right. Okay, shields. Dune. Sad dodge, only two dice. Has a focus, spends two. All right. Matthews U Wing. Yep, fully, fully modded, and we know that Tally is in the bullseye, so his ability's live. He's got the lock. Got it. There it is. He's got, need them all. That's Ooh. not going to do it. It He's could. dead, but because simultaneous fire, the A-Wing will get a shot. So shifting back to the Y-Wing. Oh. Nothing. It is spend to spend it. Okay. So Matthew up here, 73 to 20. So how are you feeling about this at the moment? I know Matthew has a lead. Well, so there's only one ship off of the board. Even though Poe is just really scared. He, here's the problem, right? You you pay so many points for Poe. 79 points. And he's in a position right now to not engage. He's he's not going to want to turn in there. Those X-Wings are coming in. They're covering two different angles. Poe turns in, he's dead. And that's a huge investment for Jordan. Gone. Unless you can use him as bait and punish with the other A wings, but black one is still alive, correct? No, he burned it. It's he gone. did burn. It. He did burn it. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Hmm. He can't use BB-8 because he's stressed, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I hear some very, very limited options. And not to mention the U-Wing can also spin around if it really wants to. Another thing is because Matt was able to keep the fight where he wanted it to, mm -hmm. it is difficult to get mileage out of the A-Wing's trick shots. It's not going to happen. Not for a couple turns. So... All right, here we go. There's a stop. No spin. Interesting. He thinks the Poe's just going to get out, and I, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> All right, so he's going to do Dutch things, right? Six 
Sabian, thank you for hosting. Appreciate you. Spreading that GSP love. Using Dutch's ability here. Yep, there it is. His last act. One straight from Luke. Really maximizing the arc as much as... The one forward is such a good move. I mean, people talk about it all the time. Yeah. One forward is very good. When you're not sure how fast somebody's going to go, yeah. one forward when in doubt. All right, three bank. The arc can't, is in the front currently. Can't stay there. You always feel bad when you have to boost to get out of an arc and then rotate if you want to shoot, and now you don't have the mod no mods. shot. But... Better that than taking four. Yeah, four and that, but that's Lulo, right? Because as soon as you take that stress, you're minus agility. And we, st but we've already seen Luke just go one forward. But that's right. That's still three dice, and that's yeah, that's a pickle. Hmm. He's sitting in front of that Ewing. Maybe, maybe he thought the three forward was going to go further than it did. Do you have that problem sometimes in your mind's eye? You're convinced it's somewhere, and then you plop it down. And you're yep. like, "Whoops!" Yep. The three forward is one that always gets me, for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'd be tempted just to just reduce it to one range three shot as opposed to two. Boost. And he's wrestling with it. I think the question might be which way to boost as well. He goes to the right. He's getting shot by both. He pointed to the right. He's, he's saying, he's, he's just said, he's like, if I go there, I'm going to be shot. Unless he's thinking I sacrifice the piece and try to get as much damage in on the partisan as I can this turn. Yep. And that's another thing about the game is like, when do you treat it like chess? When are you looking to trade pieces? Mm -hmm. Not, but you know, not when you're behind. Yeah. But interesting. Rolling, and huh? Then, and then the boost. So he'd rather take the shot from the unmodded partisan and hopefully get out of arc. Nice. Now, you live, you do this to live, but now there is nowhere for that ship to go next turn. Yep. But it does mean only a Y wing and a U wing to hunt you. Rotate focus from Tally. Mm hmm. Might as well punish that U wing. Unless he's worried about the Y. The only thing I can think of is he's thinking of boosting and rotating to shoot at the Y. But. Yeah. Yep. He really wants that Y off the board. And there's a rotate. That's also. Uh, no, that's tally, right? That's yep, not, that was yeah. tally. Okay, Lulo's so. at the top left yeah, of the board. So, hmm. threatening Poe. I'll see ya. Forward three. Yeah, he's not not committed right now. People talking about the uh, upcoming wave three. I sw I've I've done nothing but complain about the Roger Roger faction. I love it. I just. <laughs> so what did I do? You bought it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such an idiot. Here's the roll from Poe. And boosting straight. Well, I was, uh, I was, I had talked about it on the podcast. If you haven't talk, uh, heard about it, we re stream every Wednesday from our league night. Hmm. Um, and we are, we have the day before. You we were able we, to get it, right? We were able to get the stuff. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to be streaming on the it's 20th. Wednesday night, right? Yeah. Because technically it's Thursday, the 21st, right? Mm -hmm. It has to Some, take place somewhere, after... Somewhere in the world. Right. <laughs> Not a safe... 
Dutch has no shot. Range two from U Wing. Ooh. Only two dice. Was that out of the U Wing? Yeah. Oh. U Wing shooting fire right now. That is the worst feeling when you look at a ship and it's got an unmodded attack and there's that hope. You're like, I really yep. need this to not happen. And of course, it's like hit, hit, crit. <laughs> Oh, the U-wing's just gonna hunt that 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 uh, the A-wing now because it, it has it nowhere now. to go. It has yeah. to go into the corner. I guess you could if you really want. Ugh, does a one hard to the left? Oh, you can't go anywhere because does it fit? Where? What are you talking to about? the left? No, it doesn't fit, right? A-wing. No. The A-wing. Oh, the one hard. Just like tuck into the corner. No, it's, that'd be yeah. off. Okay, I thought so. Now I don't know if that's true, but I sure did sound convincing. You did. Me. You <laughs> did. I edit this part out. <laughs> So you sound super, super smart. Okay. Uh, okay, so what do you think mm -hmm. will be good in the upcoming factions? Anakin looks gross. Like, good gross. So what are you looking at? A triple triple Jedi list? Uh, I haven't thought about it that that far. You I just, just, I just been like, looking, looking at them separately. Um, the... I keep forgetting those things' names. I have to start. Ether sprites? No, no, no. That's, that's the the clone ships, not the Arc One Seventies. The other ones. What are they called? I, don't know. I pride myself on not paying too much attention to them until I get them in my hands. I feel bad because we. Do, it's even worse now. I mean, I was inclined that way to begin with, but yeah. without points, you can't use and do hypotheticals, and that's the fun of the game. Torrents, like, the V nineteen torrents. Okay, if they're. Uh, if they're in, I, I want to know what the price point is. No, don't we? I, I really want to know okay, because if you can, it can fit like three of those with like Anakin, similar, similar okay. to this, but it's more, it's more of a brawler list. Right. Now, one thing that I have heard is that those, and the separatist factions, mm -hmm. those those droids, yep, are going to be cheap. I oh mean, yeah, they will. I mean cheap. You know, see like seven them on the board or something like that it's like do you bring six or seven in a control ship of some sort yeah where they're calculate sharing all the time is there then room for how much buzz droid stuff to go along with it all right here we go all right you wing one U bank you wings a hunting he's hunting that a wing into the corner because where can it go you got nowhere to go i got nowhere else to go no one puts baby in the corner i was officer and a gentleman <laughs> And I'm sure Dutch is just covering the other side of that. Probably a one forward. That's because of the loose stabilizer. No, because he's a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Loose stabilizer fixing it. Not anymore. Boom. Gone. No longer loose. He's stabilized again. And Luke. Four forward. Just taking up some space. Zoom in. Wings are still open. Just there to threaten. What? What is, what is he doing? Uh, wrong side. He oh. went off the edge. <laughs> yep. Fatigue is real. Oh yeah, from everybody. Alrighty, target lock on to Poe. I think Matthew has committed his X-Wings to go hunting the other two in the list, thinking the U-Wing... The U-Wing and the Y-Wing can take care of it. Like, we got this. I was kind of surprised he didn't just go straight with the U-Wing, to be completely honest, because with the boost here, it gets the A-Wing out of arc. Well, but where, get into where are we at charge-wise? Next turn is Leia charge time, right? Yes. Rotate. Yeah, you could. But you could have had a shot. <laughs> Well, he's still getting a shot now. I mean, oh, is he not boosting? Oh, now, he, what, yeah, now he's, he's stressed, right? True. So, right out of that, and that is Lulo. Oh, did he just manage to find a spot between the two and not get shot at all? Could be. Oh, oh nice. No. Okay, he brought wedge in. He's like, let's. Oh, he was like, let's end this. It's like, like he baited. He baited. <laughs> you guys can hear this? the people laughing. They're having a good time by the table. 
but it's like he it was almost like a trap it's like if i fan out these arcs like this here mm-hmm. and this here maybe i can get him there <laughs> or get him here get him right, right in the middle yeah wow baited him into into thinking he was safe and he stressed himself so he's gonna be my he's he's gonna have one agility dice <sighs> assuming that it's range two And and we still have two locks, right? Who do these belong to? <laughs> uh, it is AMP. Uh, Wedge. Yeah, Wedge got a lock. Oh. Doesn't need it. <laughs> oh, gone. He's, he's, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> They're tired. <laughs> I like that there's laughter. Yeah, they're having a good time. People are still keeping it loose here. It is tomorrow. It is I Sunday. I was given a compliment in our game six. Mm-hmm. I was told that game was a lot of fun because normally when it, you're in game six and it's got to do with whether or not you'll make it into the yep. the cut or prize bracket or whatever, there can be stress. And he says, no, it, you know, we had fun the entire yeah. match and joking back and forth. I'm like, oh, good. Last thing you ever want to hear is someone didn't have fun because they played you. Yep. So I got 40 minutes left. 48. 48 minutes. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so huge, huge advantage to Matthew right now. Yeah, I mean, he, he, Matthew's in the, this is Matthew's game to lose. And Matthew is not leaving. <laughs> this, this is my, <laughs> this is my, it's, he's played here. Like, that's it. <laughs> this area right here. It's like, I'm not trapped talked about in it here early. with you. You I are talked trapped about in it. here with me. <laughs> I mean, but we talked about it earlier, right? We said whoever, a lot of times, whoever commits first loses. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the patience game. This was going to be a patience game. Both players were willing to use all 120 minutes they needed to until one of them wasn't. Right. And I'm always super impressed with really, really good flying out of Rebels because they... I feel like they have limited dials compelled to, compared to the Super AC stuff. Yeah. And it's a skill. You know who this kind of flying reminds me of? Hmm. William Higwood, man. Oh, my man. Oh, yeah. He does the exact same stuff. When I saw him burst on the scene at Adepticon and he was running Fair Ship Rebel and the way he flew it, he did the exact same thing. Duncan tried to get him to be all out here and stuff. He's like, no, and Hagwood stayed here. <laughs> it was awesome. No, no, no. Why won't this go away? You just you're you're being I don't know what? you're just broken. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so uh, we got a range two exchange here. Tally versus Luke in a minute. Wedge making his way around. Try for a lock. Do I not tell them how the sausage is made? Do I just keep that towards No, you? that's a, that's a, that's a you and me. Nobody okay. needs to know no, that. No one gets to know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Poe brought it around. Luke is still full. Both the X-Wings on Matthew's side are all full up. I think that's a target lock focus from Poe. There it goes. It's like, all right, here's my chance. Poe's got to play. Poe's got to play. Poe po needs it. <laughs> There you go. Pull on to Luke. Oh hit, hit, crit. God, that's a, that's that. a start. That's a start. But Luke has a focus, though, and the force, though. Like, he's Does he's not going to be afraid of it. Use the force, Luke. And Just you did. And the force. <laughs> oh my no God. damage, baby. Range two, but he's, he's going, going on the to bow for three. <laughs> and I'm going to go to bow. <laughs> oh. Has a oh, lock. lock. Oh. There it is. All right. Poe nice. spends a focus. Po. I refuse to die. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> These are the guys at the table having a good time yelling over here. Your expense. <laughs> I don't get paid by the hour. <laughs> Here we go. So this is a uh, tally. One crit into Luke. Safe. No bullseye. No bullseye. 
people in the chat. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that's a wobbly table. Yeah. It is. That is a wobbly table. That's that's the reason why we have this this big gap. Usually that's the mat goes all the way to the edge there. Mm -hmm. But when I saw how far it wobbled like now mm -hmm. we're gonna have to You know what <laughs> would fit right there in that gap? <laughs> don't don't you dare <laughs> don't you dare, Gordon Berg <laughs> Think of how many more subscribers you'd have. I so fan. Would, thank you so much. If you'd only format this thing properly, the way God intended, just put it <laughs> right. Just put it right there. It just takes up too much real estate. Mm. I so fan. Literally, he says, "I got you covered." Gold Squadron podcast. There aren't any non-sub people That's left. Right, everyone left watching. <laughs> how many are watching at this point? Uh, right now, so there's there's still is, 267 people. This is because it's late, right? 188 on Twitch. Uh, and 82, 82 on YouTube. On YouTube. Wow. That's Give nice. me some gumboats in the chat if uh, if if you're watching in the United States, the sleepy, and and I guess South America, North America. If you're in the Americas, give me right. some gumboats. Right. Gunboat. My phone's probably dead. Otherwise, I'd do it. <laughs> Which means I'm not going to be able to win one of Tommy's cards that's, in a giveaway. That's right. <sighs> Or or the um, district foundry dividers that we're giving away, because district foundry sent me a message. He's like, "Hey, I love Ken. Ken makes good stuff. Five straight from Tally. Bought lots of his stuff. You know who's left in this game? Who's left in this game? Yeah. You know who, who's who's the real loser?" No. We are. Why? Because I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. One day event. This is hard. In my day. In my day. In my day. When I was a boy. Seriously, the first couple regionals I went to in the first couple of years, this is all they did. They only did them one. This this whole day two thing is kind of a recent phenomenon. Yeah. Relative to compared to how long they've been doing it. Well, Chicago did the first two-day regional. We were the first. We're, we're, okay. Yeah. It was thank, thank you for that because <laughs> God knows we need it. That my, yeah, my McGriddle's definitely wearing off, guys. <laughs> I mean, like in 2014, that region in Ohio, when it was Fildo versus Jeff Burling in, as one of the two top four matches, they started that match at 2.30. They still had then the final to go after that. Oh. Wow. What you what you wowing at? This, this this ISO fan, ISO fan doing this thing, man. I need to come up with something or ISO fan is gonna support me. Three range three. Luke on tally. Natties! Boo! <laughs> if you go 40 more minutes, Jordan, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Legally obligated to say that's a joke. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, what, get that on the floor there. Oops. The opinions expressed by Gordon Berg are not Hit crit. by Gold Squadron Podcast. That's a shield on tally. Yay. First blood. I will say this won't be the latest event I've ever streamed. Our very first stream we ever did at past times was a store championship. And I did not get out of there till two. Th I didn't. The game wasn't over till two thirty in the morning. And then you've got a pack, right? Right. How I long still is have your to pack. How long is your strike down stuff? How long does it take you to get? I mean, to do it the way I like it, it's about an hour to get it all the way. To do it, just like throw it in the bag. I can do it in probably about half hour. See Mike and Charlie hour. sitting there. Yeah. They can't wait to help you pack this <laughs> stuff up when we're done. 
I'm excited. Are you watching on Twitch? Yeah. <laughs> Do I sound like the dork I think I sound like? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Well, Poe is like out, right? All right. Leia's been popped. Oh, no. So we're going after her. The A. Can the A escape? Don't think so? Mm -mm. All right. We're just going to talent roll. Because Poe po is just disengaged. He doesn't want to play right now. And by the way, those of you who are in our... Um, going for the block in case you did the hard two. Our chat here. If you're not part of our Discord, what are you doing? Join our Discord. It's good. It's good. You got all kinds of channels going on. Yeah, man. It's there's good. all kinds of stuff, stuff for the paint cast, lists, yeah. rules, mm -hmm. hanging out. I talk about some exclusive stuff in there once in a while. Just yeah. dro drop some spoilers on, on some exclusive Gold Squadron stuff. Anybody can join. And if you're a patron, by the way, go ahead, connect your Patreon to Discord, and you get a you get your role. Let you be part of the town hall when yeah. you do those. Uh-huh. Yep. If you can holes. figure out how to use your mic, like me, took correct. Me, took me a little while. How do we plug it in? And if you need a, maybe I should make a Discord tutorial because I know at first I was a little overwhelmed by it when I first installed yeah. it. Um, it could be useful for some okay, people. So he didn't do the hard two. He did do at least the two or three bank out. Focus, stay, rotate. Stay in there. All right. So do we have a Talon roll coming out of Wedge? Or not? Players helping each other out. Matt is now playing for Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a T-roll. Shocking. Did he close the wings to be able to get a boost, or he's going to have range anyway? Uh, he'll That's have close. range. That's race yeah, three. Okay. okay. Pose like I'm turning around. The Discord name is Gold Squadron Podcast. You type in exclamation point Discord, and you can get an invite. Range three from Wedge. Oh, thank you, Mike. Spend the focus for hit, hit, crit. <gasps> hit, crit. Ooh. And? <laughs> Cheating on stream? No. Stun, Stun pilot. pilot. Here, let's see it. Don't hit any rocks. Let's see it. This is the best part. He's so cool. He's got this thing called stream deck, and he's just smacking these buttons, and they change. And then he hits the thing, and then that pops up. It's like a separate USB device. It's the coolest thing ever. Oh shoot! Not that Sorry, no wrong button. To see that? Wrong button. Good lord! All right. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, you know, put that back up and then hold a little. Let, get, let people see that on camera. Little thing. Later, whatever. Yeah. We've got a game going on. Then <laughs> <laughs> shooting, shooting. Might spend as well spend it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Poe against the world. Just how Poe likes it. Somebody sent me an email to remind me to put a disclaimer that this was shot at midnight. <laughs> this is Everybody's so loopy right this now. This is some of your best work. <laughs> 260 of us. We were here together. I mean, you haven't admonished me once. Normally, you tell me, don't be you. Don't be you, Gordon. And, but, you know. No, I'm getting tired. My, right. my, my discipline is going I way down. I think from now on, I will only <laughs> co-commentate with you after midnight. After midnight. <laughs> That's right. Gold Squadron after dark. Yep. See, because after, I'm usually at, when I'm at home at midnight working on Gold Squadron stuff, I don't have to talk to anybody. Right. So it's, I'm just, like, all my energy is just saved and focused on whatever the task sure. is. It has been a long day. This this rake's just below Dion after anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> that was my best cool. video you know that video does not have as many plays as are you a little disappointed you thought it I re yeah, yeah. I re 
You wanted to be a live meme? <laughs> yeah, well, not none is it like, like, I was just really surprised. Like, hey, look at this. It's super, this is, when do you get a chance to see this? Yeah. People were like, hey, can you upload another game, please? <laughs> we want to watch competitive games. Yeah. We all want to improve, and this is how we do that. Yeah, We, we exactly. look at good players play. Rotate. Off the stop. Like, I'm not inclined to play Rebel, but I can't do what Matthew is doing. You know, it's, the, the U wing is so good. It's such an integral part of this list. It's perfect for the Leia carrier, and I said it during the last game. Like, the U wing, it, it just it has so much utility. Um, it has that three dice gun, so you can't ignore it if it's in front of you. It can be a blocker. It's it's your Leia carrier. And it's pr it's price to sell, baby. Yeah. So I know you've in you've been inclined to run the Falcon with Wedge and Luke. After watching what Matt has done with a U wing and Dutch, do you feel like that's something you would make a switch towards? I'm sorry. I asked the question again. I'm, I totally no, I totally fair, spaced fair. out there for a you, second. So you've been running. Yeah. The Falcon and um, the t t two, two X wings, yeah, and letting the Falcon be your Leia carrier, right? No, I don't have you Leia don't on have my a, list. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I, what I I, I, all, I, all I'm getting at is, is would you then go with these two ships instead? I mean, uh, I'm think, that, seeing Math, you? seeing Matthew play this right, right now, it's got me like, okay, mm. all right. Because that's still eight health that's got to come off the board with yep. all that action efficiency, right? Just one. Good. Safe. Yeah, he did. No, it was range three. He didn't roll too many. Unless there's a crit one, I think. No. I don't think so. Pope. Natties! Oh, everything's face up. So that was on the on that Dutch. On Dutch. Nope. Luke's out. Okay. He now spent this, the focus. He spent this focus on the attack, right? Focus is gone. Watch! Watch this thing hit. There yep. it is. Good game. Wow. Gold leader finishes the game. All right. There it is. Congratulations to Matthew Carey. Would you like to interview Matthew a bit, or do you want to just pack this stuff up? I, I want to give the things away. And then get the and, stuff packed up. And then get the stuff packed up. Fair yeah. enough. Love, Matthew. I'm going to read some names. Let's, let's do this. All right. I want to see some gunboats in the chat. Wait, wait, wait. We're not ready yet. What? Ah, ah. ah it's oh, not because, ready. oh, because it's not keeping track. Oh, wait. No, it's ready. It is, is it? ready. I lied. All right. Let's see if my phone's dead. <laughs> He's like, I want to see some gunboats in the chat. Actually, let me get myself ready. Yeah. All right. Let me Boom. See. Where's, my, where's my Twitch? There we go. So we have, let's see, we gave away four. So we have five more of these. Oh, no, that means I have six more. We have six. Yes, that's what you said. We have six plus. Stop. Or, oh, wait, no, wait. Yeah, they can do it because you got it ready. Cause you yeah, said that. it's ready to go. Right, so well, we got yeah. six cards from, thank you, Tommy Adams, for giving me these. And then we also got uh, District Foundry Divider Set. We'll save those for last, all right? All right. Got mine so in there. super easy. I saw I saw your name pop up. The tripe. There you go. So the uh, the magic machine is populating all the all the all the things. Giving you guys a minute. Um, while we're doing this, I do want to say thank you to everybody who made this pop. I mean, there's so many people. Yes, I dro I drove here. I got I got the stuff. But um, without Durandell and Doctor Weston, we wouldn't have had stats for the first six games. Um, Gordon, thank you for helping me commentate, man. Uh, for the first round, while well, you had your bye, and for the final, uh, thank you to um, everybody who has subbed and donated. Uh, Chewbacca, ISO fan, you guys are amazing. Thanks for watching. Uh, everybody else who's who's done their Twitch Prime patrons. I mean, all none of this works with it's an ecosystem, right? And we all help each other out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I, right. I appreciate you guys. I could have muted. I, I, I missed the button. Yeah, I'm I missed not the button. Very professional. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, we did it. We're hey, gonna we're, we're gonna give some stuff away and shut it down. 
<laughs> we can leave. Yay. <laughs> That's the champ. That's the champion. Hey, man. There you go. Right. Congratulations. Thank you, man. <laughs> we'd interview you, but we're tired and we don't care. Uh, I got a three and a half hour drive. So oh my God. See, there. What is it about Murray where the winner must spend three and a half hours driving going home? It's just, God. All righty. Good job, Matt. Here we go. See you at Outrider. All righty. Let's go ahead. We have six of these, right? Six of these. Let's do it. Tell Travera cards. Six. Tommy cards. Ready. Artwork set. done by Mark Moriarty. Go. Ken J1138. What? Congratulations. Hey, what do you need to do to win these cards? All you have to do is be in the chat. And then what do you do? And then you, you... Send you... Oh, yeah. So if you win, if your name comes up, you must send me an email to goldsquadronpodcast at gmail.com. Tell me what your Twitch name is. And then I need your address. Fully formatted. Fully formatted, meaning, right, name, uh, how do you write addresses? Name, the address, uh, apartment number, if you got one, city, state, zip, country, um, except for your, your United so States. So you can copy you paste it. I need to All be, six are going to say DeRoche, so yeah. just don't even bother. <laughs> They're mine. And, uh, and, yeah, it needs to be copy pastable, okay? I need to be able to copy paste. If it's not in the correct format, I'm just going to delete the email. It just and I don't send it to me, and then send it to to, to Gordon. I just have I have a send okay. to Gordon box. It's been said over the internet. It must be true. <laughs> Go next name. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Action BTRD. Action bird. He meant to spell bird and the typo with the T. <laughs> T's nowhere near the eye, so I don't know how he did that. There we go. All right, ready, That's set, two, go. Third. The real fun, Bobby. Fun, Bobby. Oh, what, what? All right, that's three. Three to go. Three to go. Exciting. Ready, set, go. Ryan A. Lunacy 54. I know that guy. Yeah? Yeah, he's a good guy. Here we go. One, two, three. Two one, to go. One, two. All right, you're keeping count. I'm bad at counting right now. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one, stars. Oh, look at the little one. Oh, he's got a baby so in his huge. profile picture. I like babies. Last one. People were saying, go home. Go home. home. Go home. <laughs> Three, two, one. Grosh. Steven. Steven Slim. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you see the, like, mm, the image mm. name? <laughs> all right. All right. So. Look at all over. Is there anything else to give away? Are you good? The District Foundry. The 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 dividers. So thank oh. you to District Foundry for, he Ken was like, hey, Dion, you know what to do. Said, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Here we go. So this is for the, um. District Foundry uh, divider set. If you haven't seen them, go ahead, look up District Foundry on We've got Etsy. so many cards if you've got them in like a card box and now you've got those big convenient. Yeah. You've seen those. Yeah, those yeah they're, they're, they're fantastic. Here we go right. for the dividers. Three, two, one. Rave 205. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm not going to do that Is that what you times. teach your kids in orchestra? Yes. <laughs> 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 Yes, that's okay. how that's how we're gonna win the contest. That's right. That's what it year. takes to win well, state. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, been watching. Uh, make sure if you uh, are not aware, make sure you follow us on Twitch and YouTube so you know when we go live. We literally have live content minimum four days a week. We got the paint cast Mondays and Thursdays. We got our podcast live on Tuesdays. We got League Night on Wednesday, and almost every weekend from now till. A long time. Minus two in April, we have uh, live tournaments for you guys. So make sure you're following so you know all the things. Look us up on Facebook. Join the Discord. Patreon.com slash Gold Squadron Podcast. Thank you to everybody. Love you guys. Can, go. I, say, go. Ah, ah, can I do it? Go. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. Go. Gold Squadron Podcast out. Boom. <laughs>